Right, so of late, all Zimbabweans are talking about this story about this lady called Mfumira who stole money from NASA. This woman who stole our parents' pension funds and utilized that money in order to enrich herself. Zimbabweans are flabbergasted, they're angry, and they want action to be taken against this woman. And that itself has come and said that without fear or favor, they are going to take action against this woman and ensure that justice is served. But you know what? There's nothing more hypocritical than you, Zimbabweans. Zimbabweans are hypocritical in the aspect that I told you of a similar story in the beginning of this year when I said Strive Masiwa, Tawanda Nyambirai, and a guy called Naijo Chanakira also stole money from the very same NASA and they utilized those funds together with funds from First Mutual Life to create Econet. And to create Econet, which has now morphed one of the biggest financial institutions in Africa, that is called EcoCash. These institutions have been created from stolen funds from the very same institution that we call NASA. But a lot of Zimbabweans love Stride Masiwa. He is a god in Zimbabwe. So no one cares what Stride Masiwa did. And the fact that he created institutions and companies, and the fact that these institutions and companies pay more tax than any other institution, no one gives a damn about what Stride did. But what a lot of you forget is this. The fact that you let Stripe get away with stealing from NASA, the fact that you let Stripe get away with stealing from First Mutual Life, a precedent was created. In African culture, we say that if a path is walked enough times by enough people, sooner or later it becomes a road. So a road that comes from looting NASA to getting people to become rich has been established and people have been walking that path for close to 25 years. And now you want to hold a woman who's walked the same path that the king of the country walked and you expect to hold her accountable. I don't think that's going to work because Mfumira herself must have filed on how it is that other prominent Zimbabweans have looted Zimbabwe, have looted NASA, gotten away with it, become filthy rich, created institutions, and now today they're untouchable.